Hello, hello. This is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you. Uh, these are going to be my elements. So I've decided to do um, four readings for each one of the elements in regards to the new Harvest Moon for 2019. So um, for those of you that don't know, the Harvest Moon <clears throat> came up just a couple days ago. It's going to last until the end of uh, the end of September. And it's in Pisces right now. So there's going to be a lot of emotions kind of coming up. I just finished the water video um, with, you know, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. And, um, you know, even though these are general readings, so it's not necessarily going to be about a relationship, work, um, friends, family, whatever. It's however it resonates with you. Uh, you know, some interesting stuff came up in kind of having to take a step back and just kind of be in your moment, um, almost like that mindfulness uh, type of situation. But, all right, what do you say we get at it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do three cards of the moon deck. And um, each one of those cards is going to represent one of the signs. So this one right here, this is going to be Gemini. Then we're going to do Libra, because Libra season's coming up. And Aquarius, all right? So this, uh, this moon, this harvest moon, this moon in Pisces, um, Lots of emotions. This is usually where old scars kind of resurface and things that you thought that you've pushed away. Really? Sorry, my dog's saying hello. Um, uh, so you kind of have to face your truth during this time. So as an air sign, you kind of understand that, the facing of the truth. You got to recognize any pain. You got to feel it. I know as an air sign, you guys don't like to feel things. You like to rationalize things. Oh, there's the first one. Gemini, conscious eating nourishes me. There you go. Um, anyway, so this, like I said, this moon is where you have the opportunity to work through old scars. You know, they're going to creep up, whether you wanted to push them away and keep them buried or not. This is when they all start to resurface in the harvest moon. This is the growth moon, you know, this is when all of the food kind of was ready to be plucked from the earth. That was way too many. Sorry about that. Just need two more. Okay, that one wanted to pop. There's medicine in my shadow. So Libra, that one is going to be your card. Move my feather out of the way. Um, I don't know about you guys. I am a Scorpio. I'm Libra rising, Libra moon. Um, so uh, this is definitely something that I'm feeling. You know, there's a lot of emotions kind of coming up. And as a air sign, I'm trying to rationalize them. Oh, there we go. There is the last one. So Aquarius. I love myself completely and unconditionally. Those are lovely cards for you guys. All right. I apologize for my dog in the background. She's being very, very vocal today. So, all right. So if we're talking about this, uh, you know, Gemini, conscious eating nourishes me. I don't know about you guys. I am a bored eater. So when I get bored, I eat. Um, I, I love food. I'm a foodie. <laughs> um, but sometimes we eat and eat and eat and eat and we don't realize what we're putting in our body. And um, a lot of times, and this is just me kind of delving into my other real job um, as an athletic trainer, what we eat and what we put in our body is very important. If we're putting junk food into our body or low vibrational foods, like highly processed foods into our body, our emotions are going to start to drop. Our total vibration is going to start to drop. You know, we want to be a high vibrational human being. That's where abundance comes to us. That's where love comes to us freely. That's where happiness comes to us. If we're eating the wrong foods, you're going to start to feel low vibration. You're going to be frustrated with situations at work and loved ones and feelings. You're going to feel like you can't communicate to people. And oh my God, Geminis, do we know that sometimes the twins don't talk in the same language? So this is where this is important for you. You know, you got to make sure what you're putting in your body is right for you. Maybe some of you are looking to lose weight. Maybe some of you are looking to feel better. Um, I myself, you know, I have I get blood blood tests every year um, with my doctor. It's part of my, my annual physical. And in the past, I've had really bad vitamin B, um, so B, like B12, um, in the basement. Terrible. Um, I've also had really bad vitamin D, like um, that you get from milk and, and dairy products. And my thyroid was really out of control for a couple of years. I fixed it with my diet. And that's a totally different question, um, totally different video. But it all depends on what you're eating. If you're eating the right stuff, you can control it. And if your body's put in the right situation, in the right atmosphere, it can heal itself. 
So just something to think about moving forward. All right. We got Libra here. So my fellow Libra friends, um, there is medicine in my shadow. You can take this quite literally. Perhaps you work in medicine. Um, perhaps you are a healer in some way. I know a lot of Libra friends that I have um, they actually work in counseling type of, um, you know, situations or, you know, jobs. Um, I myself, I'm, I work in sports medicine. Uh, the big thing to remember is that there is light and there is dark. This is how I read this card. You can spend your whole life in the light and pity the people in the dark. But the truth is, you never know the light that you have until you are forced to stand in darkness. Once you're in darkness, you can see the light that you emit. Okay, so you, you have to have the light and the dark. There has to be a yin and a yang. There has to be a positive and a negative. And understand that even though you might be going through a dark time right now, you have a light in you. And this darkness is going to help you see yourself better, see how you can help other people, see how you can grow, see how you can heal and be a stronger, better version of yourself tomorrow. Okay, that's how I read that card. Next card. So this one's for you, Aquarius. I love myself completely and unconditionally. Damn, I cannot say anything better than that. I wish we all loved ourselves completely and unconditionally. You know, some of us, we're not happy about the bodies we're in. Uh, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh God, these wrinkles or oh, my hair or whatever. You know, we are always our own worst enemies. But what this is saying is that it's time to really embrace the body that you are, the person that you are, the soul that you are, and love yourself for that. Because people love you for that, but no one will ever love you enough to see, help you see that. you got to see that for yourself. Does that make sense? Um, uh, for instance, personal story, I have a friend who really hates their body. Uh, you know, no matter what, they hate their body and they've struggled with it for years. No matter how many times someone reinforces that they are attractive and they're beautiful and they look great and, and they're such an amazing person and everybody loves them, blah, 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 blah. The negative mindset always creeps back in and it's like an infection for them. It's it's like another person. It's like a bad friend that constantly is sitting there in their ear being like, you suck, you're ugly, you're not enough, you know? And all you have to do is just take that. If it was a human being, you would just stop talking to them, right? But what you need to do here is you need to do your positive self-talk. Anytime you hear that negativity, you gotta cut it off. You gotta sit there and be like, you know what, screw you, you don't know me. I love myself, you can leave, right? That's what that's telling you right there. All right, air signs. Here's where we're gonna go with the tarot here. We're gonna give you three cards. It's gonna be past, present, and future. And we're gonna see <clears throat> what are their messages that there might be out there for you for this month moving forward. Or this moon, sorry, this moon cycle moving forward. Nine, three cards. Three cards for Gemini. Three cards for Gemini. Give me three cards. You know, my last one, the three cards just all jumped out like that. All right, first card, King of Cups. Sorry, we're going to cover that part because it's a little graphic. <laughs> King of Cups. All right, Gemini, this is the be-all, end-all of emotion. This is someone who knows what they want. They come forward. They express what they want. They are willing to go all in. So is this you or is this someone else that you're with? Second card, so this is your present. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands means coming forward. It, they fly in very fast with passion. They want to come in. They want to give that wand to somebody um, or offering of a job because wands can be jobs as well. Um, this is a passionate coming in very quickly and being like, look, this is where we're at. This is what I want to do. Let's do it. And your future. It's two of swords. Indecisiveness. Shocker. Um, as a Gemini, you usually have two minds, so sometimes they kind of aren't agreeing with each other. But the two of swords means a stalemate. So looking at these other two, your past is the king here, and the present is this offer of passion, and you're stuck. You don't 
know what to do. So again, this is a general reading, but as a general reading, um, this kind of has a lot of emotion. So this is almost relationship based over here. Uh, you know, maybe this card is that you're eating emotionally <laughs> over something um, going on. Um, but you have a choice to make. There's a stalemate. That, that two of swords is, you know, it's a self-inflicted inability to open your eyes and see, you know, who's in front of you. So, you know, the love is there. The foundation is there for a solid union, a solid um, relationship. There is passion coming in. There is the message, the presence that you want to come in or whoever... Um, you know, you're thinking about wants to come in with passion, but you're stuck somewhere. You're stuck, so you, you need to make a choice. But maybe, maybe, you know, that conscious eating will definitely help you out. It will help you think clearer, um, paying attention to what you're putting in your body. Uh, I know when I am eating, you know, more organically, better foods, when I'm cooking my own food, I feel better. So I, I think clearer. So that just might be something to think about. Get yourself some nice green tea or matcha tea. That always helps me out. A little bit of honey. Mm. Mm. So good. So good. Ooh. All right, three cards for Libra here. Let's go. Ooh, not yet. Stubborn cards today, huh? What's going on, Libra? We got card number one. Six of cups in reverse. So six of cups generally upright is someone from your past coming in at you three cards, but we already got two. All right. Um, there's a guy, too. All right, we got the Six of Swords in the present, inverted, and the High Priestess inverted. All right, so Libra, you got some blocked energy going on here. Um, maybe that's why we're talking about your shadow, your shadow self here. So Six of Cups references someone from your past, past lives, past relationships, past friends, past coworkers, lovers. Um, can also represent children, um, if we're looking at it upright. This is an offer of love. Sorry, my camera's... I have a reflection coming from the window next to me, I'm sorry. Um, but it's an offer of love, it's an offer of commitment, it's an offer of unity, um, remembrance of who this person is. But what can happen is when it's, it's inverted, it's blocked. So perhaps somebody from your past came to you... Um, and you don't want to take that cup that they're offering, that cup of emotion, that offer. Or perhaps you're unsure whether you should take it. Or maybe you offered it to someone and they didn't take it. Um, usually that's the page of cups inverted, though. This could mean that someone from your past might be coming forward, but you're trying to not think about them. You're trying to block this. Okay, I mean, let's be honest, you're an air sign, so you have a lot of control over your, your thoughts. Six of Swords, um, upright. This is moving out of rough waters into calmer seas. This is knowing the direction that you're supposed to travel and, and go towards. Unfortunately, again, this is inverted, which means that you're not you're not leaving it behind. You're still kind of in a little bit of this these rough waters. These you're trying to figure it out. Okay, again, this is a sword, so this is mental energy. So you're trying to figure out why you're still in these rough seas before you can move forward. Or perhaps you keep thinking about this person from your past and you're not ready to move forward yet. Very similar to the Eight of Cups, if it was upright. Um, walking away and leaving something behind if it's upright. But again, you're not moving forward yet. You're still stuck in these rough waters, so you need to kind of work through it. Again, shadow self. So you need to kind of let yourself go into the darkness um, to heal, to be able to move forward. All right. Um, Hi, Priestess. I love this deck. This Celtic deck is absolutely gorgeous, if any of you are considering buying it. Um, Celtic deck. So the High Priestess, this is a woman that knows her intuition. She follows her gut. You know, nothing is hidden from her. This is the, um, the counterpart of the Magician, okay? She is beautiful, but she is threatening in the same way. Like, she's the type of person that you do not want to rub the wrong way. Um, when we're inverted, it means that you're not following your intuition. You're not following your gut. Something's off. You are a very mental sign of all of the signs. You are very 
focused on your thoughts and you are thoughts over anything. Um, and I think perhaps, you know, this cauldron obviously represents emotions. You're lost in your emotions over something. You're trying to block something. Perhaps something happened in your past with a loved one, a friend, family member, and you just don't want to face it. You're ignoring your gut instinct, your intuition. You're going against yourself. Um, again, this is where you need to go into your shadow. Take some time in the darkness. See the light that's in you so you can better understand the situation that's going on. And then all of these, they're going to all flip. They're all going to re reorient themselves. And you'll be able to move out of these rough seas into calmer waters. And you're going to be able to be that strong, independent priestess. Um, and you're going to be able to really follow your instincts again. Okay? All right. Last section, Aquarius. All right, three cards for Aquarius. One card. First card, King of Shields or King of Pentacles. All right, so that is an offer of stability. That is a man that he is the father, he is the caretaker, he... He has a lot of money. There's a lot of stability. A lot of abundance comes with that card. Eight of Cups or Eight of Cauldrons. So that's that one that I was telling you is the reverse of the Six of Swords, or similar to the Six of Swords. And um, this is kind of walking away from something. So that's where you're in your present. Last card Queen of Wands, inverted. All right. So. King of Cups, this is in your past. Sorry, Queen of... <laughs> Can't talk today. King of Shields. Um, so this is the King of Pentacles. This guy right here, he is a man that has stability. He is the king of the land. He makes a lot of money. He knows how to take care of everyone underneath him. Um, this is an ultimate stability card. So this is in your past. So something has happened in your, your past where you are stable and you're able to make an offer of stability to somebody else, either financially or emotionally. All right. This next one, this is where you are right now. You are in the eight of cups. So you are thinking about walking away from a situation. So if you are in a job, perhaps that you don't like, or perhaps you came into enough money and you're like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this situation. If it is, if it is a job, um, you might be thinking about walking away from it. If it's a relationship, you might be thinking about walking away from it. Just to, you know, this is usually depicted as the hermit. Just to go away and rethink things. Sorry, my dog is being very needy today. Um, you know, you have to kind of take your time to go and analyze the situation and decide if this is what's right for you. Notice how the cups are still all there. They're all upright. So it's not that you spilled them out. It's not that you gave up on the emotions that are in those cups. You just need to take some time um, to try and figure out what you want to do. And the outcome or the future is going to be the Queen of Wands inverted. So the Queen of Wands, this is a woman that she's the red carpet queen. She walks in, everybody knows her. Everybody loves her. She's passionate. She's funny. But inverted, man, this is a woman you want to hide and hit the deck if she is unhappy. She is a fiery temper. She's going to tell you how it is. Um, very similar to almost the Queen of Swords. Um, so either this is you or this is someone in your life. This is you almost standing up for yourself too. I like to kind of see this when it's inverted. I almost equate it to the strength card, um, because it's almost like finding this, this energy inside of you to stand up for yourself. Um, so again, I, I love myself completely and unconditionally. So maybe you're in a situation at work or in a relationship where, you know, you've had it and it's time to really say what you got to say um, so that you can return to me in that beautiful goddess that everybody is drawn to. Um, but right now you got to think about your strength. So you got to, you got to find You got to pull inside. You got to find your strength and you got to come forward. Um, you know, certain situations aren't made for all of us. And if you're at the point where you feel like you need to say something or, um, you know, get your emotions out, get them out. But obviously, you know, you're an air sign. So, Make sure you say it without, um, you know, make sure you think through what you're saying before you say it to make sure that what you need to say is being said and it's not an emotional, passionate response off the top. Okay. All right, my air signs. Thank you so much for tuning in for this Harvest Moon 2019 reading. Um, 
Uh, tune in in a little bit. I'll be doing the second half of September readings as well. I'm just a little bit behind on work. If you liked this, if this resonated with you, please share, like, subscribe. Uh, I also am doing private readings. Information is in the, uh, the details below if you guys are interested in that. All right? Until then, see you on the next moon. Deuces.